In this video, we'll look at the best WooCommerce B2B plugin to add a wholesale section to your website in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and download the WooSuite's wholesale plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. So here we are in our WordPress dashboard. I've already installed the WooSuite core plugin and I've activated my license key. So here it's saying my license key has been successfully activated. To set up our wholesale store, we'll go ahead and click this installation wizard here. And then here we get to choose whether we want to sell to B2B only or B2B and B2C. So I'm going to select B2B and B2C and then click next. Okay, and then here we get to choose the components in which you want to add it to our wholesale website. So if you want to add a quoting system to your wholesale website, then you go ahead and select this option here. I've already got most of these installed and set up as well. So, so this is why you can see this activated text here. But you'll just scroll through and select the appropriate modules in which you need for your website. So for example, we'll add our wholesale pricing, we'll add a tax exemption, maybe you want to add um, a lead time as well, maybe you want to add um, conditional shipping and payments, maybe you want to add a minimum and maximum order amount, maybe you want to add product bundles to your store, maybe you want to add a wholesale ordering form, so there's so much more. If you're running um, different pricing discounts such as buy two for X amount or buy one get one free or spend over X amount and receive X amount off or tiered pricing or volume based pricing then you go ahead and install this dynamic pricing and discount module so you just go ahead and select the options in which you wish to install go ahead and click next and then here it says thank you so we're almost there so then we just go ahead and click next again and then it will go through the installation process Okay, and now it's saying it's been successfully installed. So we just go ahead and click finish. Since I've already set mine up, usually there'll be a checklist on the side, similar to this one, and it will walk you through setting up the individual components, such as your wholesale registration form, your wholesale pricing, and so on. But again, I've already set mine up, so that's why the wizard's not showing. So here we've got a few quick stats, so we can see how many new um, B2B customers we've signed up this month. Um, how many application, how many wholesale application are pending? Um, how many quotes have we received in the last 30 days? Um, what's the revenue breakdown by a different user role? And here you can go ahead and tweak which user role data to show here. So here I'm showing data from our wholesale customers and also from our distributors as well. Okay, so here we can see the pending wholesale applications. We've just got some quick information. We can go ahead and click through and see more information such as um, their address and any other custom fields which we require them to fill out. We can go ahead and see that there as well. So we can quickly um, approve or reject this user. You'd also get a email notification informing you know, that there's a new user account pending. I'm not gonna go through everything in this video, but we'll go through a few of the key things within this video. Okay, so the main thing, let's head over to our wholesale pricing. Okay, and here you can see our user role management. So we can add various different um, user role. For, ex for our wholesale prices, we can enable this option. So we'll disable the default retail price from our wholesale customers. Here we can go ahead and bulk export and import our wholesale prices. And then if we click over to our storefront, I'll just quickly show you um, a few noteworthy things with regards to this plugin. So we can set up tiered based pricing. This can be done on a product level or it can be done on a global level as well. Okay, so here's our tier based pricing, not to be confused with volume based pricing. A lot of plugin authors list their products as tier based pricing when in fact it's actually volume based pricing. So the difference with the tier based pricing is, say for example, a user was to purchase um, 10 units, then the first five units they would pay this price and then the last five units they will pay this price. Whereas if it, whereas if it was um, a volume based pricing and a user purchased 10 units, then they would get all 10 units for this price here. So that's that's the main difference. And it's not to be confused with volume based pricing. We have various um, options as well. So here we're doing, we're doing it per item. We can do um, a percentage based or we can set a fixed amount off. 
Um, so there's various ways in which you can set that up. This plugin also supports um, decimal prices. Let's say, for example, if you sell a wallpaper by square meter or something like that, then having the option to support decimal places is super important. So it works with our pricing rules, our pricing discount rules, and also with our minimum order as well. So I think that's another unique thing about um, this particular plugin. So you can set a minimum order amount, um, you can set order increments, we can set wholesale pricing. We've got the option to configure our quick order form. Okay, so we can add, we can set this up in various ways. So here I've added the WooSuite cart widget here, and then here's our order form. So we can customize the column, we can customize the layout, we can customize the filtering, so we can add, um, custom fields so we can filter via custom fields and we can add uh, custom fields as a column as well we can customize the button we can add a icon instead of a button so there's so much you can do with this um, particular plugin so i just want to go through the key bits for our wholesale application form we've got a few ways of creating a wholesale registration form the first would be to use the default WooCommerce registration page and ensure a drop down so the users can self select um, which type of account they'd like. So, for example, we could create a few options that says retail customer and wholesale customer. And then, if the user was to select that they're a wholesale customer, self identify as a wholesale customer, then we'll show some extra fields specific for our wholesale customers. Okay, or we can create a we can leave the default WooCommerce registration form as it is, and then we can create a separate registration form like what we're doing here and just show this form for our wholesale customers only. And then if someone was to sign up via this form, they'd automatically inherit the wholesale user role. Okay, and you can set this to pending admin approval or you can automatically approve this particular user. In the back end as well, you've got the option to set up various email automation. So as soon as a new wholesale customer register, it can trigger an email sent to the admin or store manager to review this particular application. And you can also send a email as well automatically to the wholesale customer. And then when you decide to approve or reject the account, the wholesale customer will be notified as well. So it saves you a lot of time in onboarding your wholesale customers. So you can create password protected products categories. You can restrict certain products. So let's just go ahead and click on this password protected product here. So here you can see we need to enter in a password to be able to um, see the product information and go ahead and add this to cart as well. So with the restriction rules module, you can restrict certain category by a user role, a specific user and so on. You can hide certain products as well, or you can turn, you can um, force everyone to have to log in before they can view your store page. So it's quite robust in what you can do with it. With that same restriction rules plugin, you can hide a certain um, menu item from certain user roles. So for example, this says this menu is hidden. And I'm going to assume that if when I set this up, I've set it to be hidden to the general public. So let's go ahead and see if that's the case. Okay, so you can see that menu item, which says this menu is hidden. It's not showing here, right? So if I scroll down, when I'm logged in, you can see this menu here, but for guest users, they're not seeing that menu item. So, and I guess as well, if I click this restricted category, it won't work. Okay, <laughs> maybe I disabled this rule, <laughs> but you can set it to be um, hidden to certain users or user role. So, um, so tax exemption. So let's just head back over to our dashboard and go ahead and click on tax exemption rules. Okay, so we've got an option to control how we want to display. So where it says tax display here, we've got an option to control how we want to display our taxes to different user roles. So for example, for our regular retail customers, maybe we want to show the prices, including um, all tax and VAT, right? And then maybe for our wholesale customers, we want to show the price, excluding um, tax and VAT. So you can tailor the experience based on the different um, user browsing your site. And then for the tax exemption rule, so you can exempt. So for example, here I've created a tax exemption rule for wholesalers in the UK. So here my rule reads, for all user role that matches wholesale customer and the countries, the UK, 
they'll be tax exempt. So you can create various advanced rules like that. So you can select um, a specific user, a specific product, a specific category, country, and the coupon. So the coupon, so the coupon feature is quite unique, and this is ideal for um, anyone selling like one-off type product. So meaning the customers will probably only shop with them once in a lifetime. So there's no need to force the users to create an account and so on if they're not going to be using it um, ever again. So in this case, if they're a wholesale customer, then maybe you just want to give them a coupon code, which gives them the tax exemption status. So they'll just enter in the coupon code and then on the checkout page or on a cart page, it will remove the taxes from their order. That's a powerful and unique feature to um, the WooSuite wholesale plugin. Okay, and then for our quick order form, so I'll just click on this product table option here. Right, so you've got the option to create um, various different product table. And you can set the product table as the store page, category page, tag page. You've got the option as well to create a variation table. And there's also in a newer version coming up, the option to create a price matrix grid. So I'll quickly show you what that looks like. So it just makes it more user friendly and convenient for users to quickly order the particular variation in which um, you currently hold. So in this example here, you can see the user can quickly select the particular brand, the color and also the size. OK, so heading back here. So here you can see our wholesale order form. In your case, you'll just click add new. I'm just going to edit this particular one so we can see what's going on here. OK, so we click on form information and this is how you customize the columns of your quick order form. So you can just quickly drag and drop the different information and just drag and drop it to rearrange it as well. Well, we click on the pencil icon so we can customize the name label. We can set the width. We can add a class for customizing the particular column. OK, so it's pretty straightforward and you will see more options here depending on which different module you've got active. For example, if we've got the lead time module enable, there'll be an option here to add the lead time to the column. You can display custom data. So when we click the pencil icon, we can choose the data source so we can enter a post meta information and we're just entering it in here. Or we can select a custom taxonomy and then we can select it from here. OK, so it's super convenient to quickly create and customize your wholesale order form. You can customize the image. You can add a custom icon, rename the add to cart button. You can enable bulk add to cart as well. And then you get to choose how you want to handle um, variations. So you can show it as a drop down, link to the page, um, show it in a separate row. Or there'll be that pricing matrix, which I mentioned. And you've also got an option to open it in a quick view window. OK, as for form control. So we get to specify which product we want to include in our form. So we can select the specific products here, or we can display the products within a specific category, um, tags based on the attributes or custom taxonomy, or we can display um, recently purchased products by that particular user. We can show products based on the stock status, and there'll be more options added as well as time go on. Okay, so for our product filtering, so we can create various filters. Um, we've got a few. We've got a few default filters here, which you can click on this option here to get the full link. So you can filter it by categories, attributes, tags, whether the products on sale, um, via custom fields, and so on. Okay, so I'm going to skip past these. For our form design, we can disable the product table heading. We can customize the design, and we can enable our custom CSS as well. If you have over a thousand products, then you can go ahead and enable lazy load, enable caching and so much more. Then you just save changes and then you can copy and paste the short code and add it to any page. OK, moving on to our pricing rules. So we're going to go to dynamic pricing rules here. So you've got an option to create various um, promotional pricing. So you can create a promotion based on a cart total or based on a category total. So for example, you can say, so if the user spends more than $500, then we can give them a set discount of, let's say 10%. And then here where it says apply, so you get to choose who you want this deal to apply to. So everyone, guest users, a specific user role or a specific user. And you can go ahead and enable this option 
if you only want to target um, first time buyers you can schedule this promotion to run as well and then here where it says max total you can enter in a max amount or just add a asterisk icon for above so this would say spend more than 500 and above and receive 10% off okay so you can add um, checkout fees um, based on their shipping method the user role and the payment method um, and so much more you can set fixed discount based on user role um, category discounts as well for advanced rules you can create this is where you'd create your global tiered based pricing or volume based pricing or even um, bundled discount or even special offers such as um, a buy two for X amount or something like that okay and then you can go ahead and bulk import or export your pricing rules and then for the options we've just got a few extra options so so you can disable any pricing promotion to run on um, products which are currently on sale in a newer version as well there's some more options here so you can um, display a you saved amount so you can show the users exactly how much they've saved on that particular purchase but this is an older version so it's not displaying on my end okay so there's there's loads of stuff you can do you can um, restrict a certain shipping method based on a user role um, you can do the same for the payment method as well so for example maybe you want to enable PayPal as a payment gateway for your retail customers but then disable it for your wholesale customers so in the shipping and payment tabs you can go ahead and do that you can go ahead and set a lead time based on the user role based on the stock status um, restriction rules here is where you'd set your password restricted products enable private mode hide certain products to certain user role in the min max quantity rules this is where you'd set your minimum order amounts your quantity increments and so much more but as i said before if i was to go in depth into every single feature will be here all day so we've got the option as well to um, allocate certain stock to different user roles. So maybe you wanna allocate X amount to your retail customers and X amount to your wholesale customers, you can do that as well. But we've got many videos on our channel and on our blog as well, um, showcasing how to set up the individual component. So this video is just to serve as an overview of the sort of things you can actually do with this particular plugin. And that's how you add a WooCommerce B2B functionality to your WordPress website. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.